Hello my little droogies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Avery Moore. It is day 26 of Preptober and today we are going to be talking a bit more about writing communities. In my last couple of videos I have talked about finding writing forums and writing events that you can participate in. I will link those both in the description for anybody who hasn't seen them. But in today's video I am going to be talking about finding writing groups and writing buddies. So what is the difference between a writing forum and a writing group? Well, a writing forum is a large community that can have thousands and thousands of members, most of which you are probably never going to interact with. Now, you can have specific conversations and ask specific questions in writing forums and can usually get loads of great advice from lots of different people. But there's going to be a very small amount of people in that community that you will interact with on a regular basis. A group, on the other hand, is a smaller community of people within that larger community that are talking about a specific subject and that you will probably be interacting with a lot more regularly. So, for example, there might be a group of writers who specifically write psychological thrillers or a group for writers living with a disability or a group for writers who are looking for beta readers. Whatever the group is, there will be a relatively small amount of people, probably 30 or less, that you would probably probably be interacting with on a fairly regular basis, depending on how active you are in that group. A buddy, on the other hand, is somebody that you would be speaking to privately in one-on-one -on -one personal conversations. Accountability buddies are very popular during NaNoWriMo. They're basically people whose job it is to encourage each other to reach their word count goals every day and to reach the 50,000 word goal at the end of November. So every day, your buddies would give you an update on how many words they wrote that day, you give them an update on how many words you wrote that day, and you would either congratulate each other or encourage each other depending on how well you did. Now, writing groups and writing buddies were a large part of the community experience on the NaNoWriMo website. Now, you can still create groups and talk to buddies on the NaNoWriMo website, but the issue is the way that people went about finding groups and buddies was to search for them on the NaNoWriMo forums. Now that the forums are down, it's pretty much impossible for people to search for writing groups or writing buddies without just typing in a random name and sending buddy requests to random people. Now, anybody who is still going to be using the NaNoWriMo website this year, feel free to add me as a buddy. I am looking for as many friends as I can get. My name on the website is Avery Moore, same as it is on YouTube. I have also created a little writing group for anybody who wants a writing group to join. Just add me as a buddy and let me know if you want to be part of that group. But what if you are not using the NaNoWriMo website this year and you are looking for writing groups and writing buddies? Where else can you look? Well, going through all of the writing communities that I have looked at so far, I'd say that the best place for finding both groups and buddies is Scribafile. If you are looking for a writing group, you just click on the three lines at the top, then click on the group button down there and you can start searching for whatever kind of writing group that you are looking for. So you can look for groups of people that are writing in a particular genre. You can look up groups for people in your age range. You can look up groups for people who live in the same country or area as you. Essentially, if there is something that you have in mind where you would like to find a community of writers who all share this particular thing in common with you, then type in whatever kind of community you are searching for and see if you can find a group dedicated to that particular subject. There is a group on Scribify dedicated to NaNoWriMo, so you can always join that group if you are just looking for other NaNoWriMo participants. You can also add buddies on Scribafile. Just click on members and type in the name of the member that you are looking for. Once again, feel free to add me as a buddy on Scribafile. I am actually under the name Avery Autumn Moore on Scribafile because Avery Moore was already taken. If you want to know how to find buddies, you could look for buddies on the forums, I suppose. But my advice would be just get to know people a little, talk to people in the forums or in your groups. And if there's anybody that you particularly get along with, then you can always reach out to them and see if they want to have a private chat with you one on one. 
Now, forums and groups are usually going to be a safe place to communicate with people. There will always be other people around. So if anybody ever steps out of line or says anything inappropriate, then that person will usually be shut down by a moderator or whoever is in charge of that group. When it comes to buddies and personal messages, you do need to be extra careful. Make sure you have absolutely zero tolerance when it comes to inappropriate or abusive behaviour. Writing buddies are supposed to be friends that are helping you and encouraging you and making your writing journey a more pleasant experience. So if anybody is having the opposite effect on you and they are actually making you miserable or uncomfortable, then you need to shut that down straight away. If anybody is talking to you inappropriately or is being aggressive or abusive towards you in any way, make sure you block that person immediately, but also see if you can screenshot that conversation and contact one of the forum moderators letting them know what has happened. Do not feel guilty if that person gets banned as a result of you reporting them, because chances are, if they are being inappropriate or abusive towards you, they are also probably behaving that way towards other people. And by that person getting banned, you are probably saving a whole bunch of other people from unnecessary stress and abuse that they shouldn't have to put up with. Basically, you are doing everybody that uses that forum a favour by reporting this kind of behaviour. So your homework for today is search through Scribafile and find any writing groups that you might be interested in joining and either join or ask for an invite to those groups. You can actively search for writing buddies or you can just chat to people on the forums or the groups, wait and see if there's anybody that you get along with and see if they want to be buddies with you. And if you have trouble finding any writing buddies, you can always message me and I will add you to the collection of people that I have tied up in my basement. In my next few videos, we are going to be moving on from the subject of finding a writing community and talking more about managing your time, figuring out your writing schedule and everything else that you will need to get done over the month of November. In tomorrow's video, we will be talking about creating the perfect writing space for you that you will enjoy spending time in and will make you want to spend as much time writing as you can over the month of NaNo. But that is me finished for today. If you know of any other writing websites where you can find groups and buddies, please leave a comment letting me know. Also, if you have created a writing group of your own but are struggling to find members, leave a few details about that group in the comments and see if anybody else is interested in joining. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my teeny tiny channel grow into a beautiful butterfly. And I hope I see you guys tomorrow.